So the first thing you look at is the electricity supply when you're considering installing a charger. So this is my front door from the inside and just to the left above it you can see the consumer unit. Now this will need to be connected to the charger so it's, uh, the charger needs to be located as close to this as you can but still practical. In my case the consumer unit is right next to the front door which is only about 10 or 15 feet from the car. So things are looking good from the inside. So when we come outside you'll see that the consumer unit is right up here and this is my meter cupboard. This is the incoming main supply with the meter and a charger, a home charger can be connected through there or through the consumer unit that's up to the electrician. But here I've got the meter cupboard, the consumer unit and the front door all in one close location and the car is just 10 feet over that way so it's a really nice concise installation. So here my first thought would be to have a look at installing really close to the front door. Now there's no space on here, it would also be very unsightly so that's out, as would that wall be. That with plain view of the road it spoils the appearance. However this is a good location, this is tucked away, we do have cover overhead, these are fully waterproof but uh, it makes sense to keep it as dry as you can. So this is my first choice location. It's really close to the consumer unit, really cl close to the meter box, and very close to the front door, and the car is just 10 feet away in that direction. That's my prime choice. Obviously it's where I did install it, but let, you sh let me show you the other one. Well, the other location, if we come across to the corner of the house, there's the front door and the porch and where the charger is. This is my other location. So what we have here is a gas cupboard down here, gas pipe, and we've got space here where we could install. However, there is no cover overhead. Uh, it's a much longer cable run. We would need to run an external cable because inside there's all fitted units on the kitchen. So trying to connect this one through the inside is very difficult. So here, what we'd almost certainly do is come outside from wherever and then run along the bottom and then up the wall through some trunking. Uh, it's a perfectly good location, however that one is such a simple location, absolutely ideal because just over here, I swing round, there's the car, no distance at all. So that's why I chose that location. It is the perfect location that when I come out in the morning and come out to the front door, I can just pick up the plug and walk to the car. It's really simple, really easy. Now, not everyone will have this simplicity, but for me, this is perfect. So for me, when I get out of the car, it's really simple. I just close the car door, walk around to the back of the car, and this here, is the charging port. So exactly the same as on the supercharger, my car has the port on the rear left, supercharger will always be on the left. Here at home I have the charging port on the left and my charger on the left, works for me. So from here it's just a short walk, about 10 feet, to the charger. And all I do at the charger is just to uncover, un undo the plug, uh, throw the cable out and then walk to the car. Now with Teslas there's no need to have an app or undo the flap from the inside, anything like that. On the Tesla charger there's a button. Uh, it's on home chargers, it's on superchargers. So there's a button there and when you press the button the flap opens. Simple as that. There's no need for apps, no need for going in the car. So the flap's open, it's ready to go. Just plug it in, it's really simple and that's done. You've heard a click there's a purple light on, it's now communicating with the charger. It won't charge. Now I have my home tariff, which is 11 pence per kilowatt hour off-peak. My off-peak period starts at nine o'clock every night, runs 10 hours right through to seven o'clock the next morning. So at the moment, middle of the afternoon, plug it in, does no harm, it doesn't charge, it doesn't do anything. But if I'm not using the car for the rest of the afternoon, just plug it in. Come nine o'clock, the car will say, do I need a charge? Now if I've got, for example, 75% state of charge on the battery and my 
charging is set to, to stop at 75 percent the car won't do anything it won't charge won't do anything it will just sit there it does not take power when you're plugged in if it's at the state of charge i've set it to on the other hand if i'm down at 25 percent state of charge on the battery and i've set 75 percent as my target at nine o'clock it will ask this charger do we need a charger say yeah so then the two will connect and it will start charging automatically. It'll take a few hours, whatever it is, overnight. But when I wake up in the morning, it will be fully charged or charged up to whatever state of charge I've set. So it's really simple. From walking around the back to the charger to here, probably adds three, four seconds to my journey to the front door. That's it. How simple can that be? I don't understand why people who can charge at home don't see how simple this is. So when I come out in the morning, some people have asked me in the comments, what happens if some local yob decides to take that out? Uh, the car at the moment is locked as it would be overnight. If I try and remove that, it's locked. If I press the button, it doesn't do anything. As long as the car is locked, that plug is locked into it. So no one can take it out and use it. Um, so it's a really safe and secure system. Now the car is locked at the moment, so if I want to remove that, I have to unlock the car. Uh, we obviously have proximity keys. We don't have physical keys like on petrol cars. As I walk to the car, it should detect me and it should unlock for me. So let's just walk towards the car. And what you'll see, there we go, the handles come out automatically. That means the car is now unlocked. And at this point, if I now press the button, it undoes, I can remove the charger. Simple as that. So what I do now, is close that. Return the cable and the plug, and now we're ready to go. So from there, I just walk into the car and away we go. Well, Tesla offer a full video on their guide page to show the entire installation. I personally chose the Tesla charger it made sense four years ago. There was much less choice. I reasoned I have a Tesla, charger Tesla superchargers, so for simplicity, I'll use a Tesla home charger. Well, with my Tesla, almost everything is controlled by the car, not the charger. In fact, that was one of my concerns. What if the charger wanted to do something different to what the car wanted to do? So I relied on the car and the charger, both made by Tesla, both communicating on the same wavelength. That has worked out perfectly. I've had no conflicts. Charger is capable of sharing power with another charger if we had two cars and needed to charge both simultaneously. I cannot imagine ever a scenario when we both had to charge all the time. If I need more power, which I don't, I could apply to have my electricity supply upgraded to three phase and a charger could then be reprogrammed to accept up to 22 kilowatts, giving me around 45 miles added per hour plugged in. I've got no need for that. My setting is 7 kilowatts and that gives me around 21 miles an hour. So overnight I can easily add 210 miles which covers me from going from completely flat to almost completely full. The last four years have confirmed this is perfectly adequate for my needs. If it ever isn't I'll revisit the issue. Installation was really easy, connections really simple. I watched the whole thing. Charging power is by onboard switches inside the case so if it's ever needed an electrician can do that really quickly. The case is designed for indoor and outdoor use and I've seen many of these very chargers stuck on a pole in a car park with no cover of any sort. In the four years of use it's been ideal. It's never failed or tripped the power in the house. I'll be uploading a new video soon looking at all the available home chargers that will come out in the near future. Please subscribe so you'll be notified when it does launch. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave.